What's up guys? Alright, attempt number 84 for this video because my daughter's really mad she can't get any toys. Yay, six month olds. Um, so I'm going to show you how to totally dominate your competition. Let me get all my stuff reset so I can show you what's going on. Don't worry, it'll be explained in a second. Alright, so last video we learned how to set up a WordPress site. I still recommend you getting your own domain name and hosting, but do what you do. Um, I'm not going to go over WordPress. It's super easy to learn. There's 5 million tutorials. And yeah, join some Facebook groups and figure it out. It's not hard at all. Um, so what you're gonna, gonna what you're gonna want to do, if I could talk bleh, to dominate your competition in the Amazon Associates game and get up in the search engine rankings. So what you're gonna do, turn on your Moz, you know the magical M. Uh, type in your keyword. Let's say best running shoes under a hundred. Um, just kind of going off the example. 590 searches a month with high buyer intent. These people are ready to purchase a shoe if they could find one they like under 100 bucks, which is great for you because you make a commission when they do. You feels. So you're going to type your keyword in, check the searches, pretty good. Anything over 50, go for it. Seems like a little, but it'll add up. Trust me. Um, so then you're going to check the PA on the keyword. Um, this particular keyword is pretty freaking amazing. All these PAs are under 50 except one. Most of them are under 30. So you're going to go and find one that you think you can beat, which would basically be any of them on this page. You're going to click it, open up the link, check out the article, and just kind of how they got it. So they got a huge picture of each shoe, buy here, price, range, and a really quick, brief uh, description of each shoe. So um, you could easily replicate that and no problem at all. Uh, so now you're going to copy the link to the website. You're going to Google Website Word Count Tool. First link, wordcounter.net, right there. Boom, hit that. Boom, paste link, count words. 1,319 words. So, pretty alright size article. Let's make sure there's no nonsense at the bottom or anything like that. Yeah, so I don't think it counts any of these. Um... Yeah, so I mean, there. Uh, that seems like a lot, but it's possible that there's 1,300 words on here about shoes. Uh, maybe, maybe not. We don't know. You can see what words they're using the most of right here, quantity. And uh, yeah, so basically, to beat this page, you need to make a 1,500-word article about shoes, about best running shoes under 100. You, you, you kind of see where I'm going here? You just need to beat them out at their own game, make your page look better. Um, I would, I love charts. I would just do top 10 best running shoes under 100. And I would put a chart, like pros and cons type deal, because people love charts for some reason, and put the chart at the very top of the page. Let's try this one, 27 and two links. That's literally like nothing. I could probably write a Facebook post that ranks higher than this thing. So, yeah, this is a short little article. This has got to be under a thousand words. There's no way it's over a thousand. There's no way. I don't even believe that. I actually don't believe that. All right, we're going to... All right, so I kind of might have just lied to you. It's possible that that website that I just did is not that good. So let's go to word count tool... So I'm going to double check this website just because I kind of don't feel like that's right. Uh, here, this one looks cool. Free word counter, come on, load up, please. Alright, so I just copy and pasted all the words in there. Let's see how many words this is. 392, yeah, okay, so something's up. Alright, I lied, that website sucks, don't use it. I don't know where it's getting all these words from, but it's not accurate. But this is a... 400 word article ranking on page one. I could literally write a Facebook post with more words than this and probably rank it higher than this page. And they're probably getting a good amount of traffic from from this page right here. Sorry, I'm kind of getting all crazy. There we go. Um, Yeah, I mean, they're, what are they, number five? So they're probably getting at least like 200 of these people a month landing on their page. Um. So yeah, you kind of see what I mean? Just type in your keyword, find some low PA, some low amount of links, do a word count, check it out, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. Just write more words, make your page look better, make your site look better. 
Don't put ads. Okay, so let me do one more just super quick thing. Oh, no, that wasn't it. Let's go back to... Which one was this? Right here. I don't know what their traffic looks like, but until you have... Are these sponsored? Yeah, so these are sponsored posts at the bottom and, like, ads and stuff like that on the sides. So until you have at least, like, 50,000 users per month landing on your site, don't put any ads anywhere. Don't put this up here. Don't put these down here. Don't put these over here. You just want a site where people think that you are really there to give them the best shoe in the world for them. And you honestly should be doing that. You should really be wanting to help your people out and make some money. Um, but until you're getting at least 50,000 users a month, don't put ads anywhere because you're going to make pennies and they're going to drive people away and you're going to lose sales. I'm telling you that too. But that's it today. That's how to absolutely destroy your competition in the search engine results game and make some scrolla. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And we'll see you tomorrow. And then we're going to do something else with Amazon Associates website. I'm not sure yet. Maybe link building. We might do link building. Uh, I don't know. Stay tuned. See y'all later.